Hampton Family Ice Arena here on the campus of the University of Notre Dame. Inching closer to the start of this matchup between these two brand name programs inside. It is a whiteout, a special night indeed. The 133rd all-time meeting between these two great institutions. Michigan leads it 74, 53, and five. In the last 10, they've been dead even. Although we will tell you, in November, at Yost, Notre Dame swept the Wolverines for the first time since 1978. On the puck, pays the price as Jeff Costello, always physical, was there. Steve McKinchak and Wilkins to the referees and Lee bangs one in, just like he's done in the last two Friday games here at the Cup. And the Irish have drawn first blood. Those two programs have done. Yeah, it really is. It's those two teams, you mentioned MSU and Michigan, have really struggled this year. Here's a chance right in front. They score! David Gerst went to the paint and banged it in. It's 2 nothing Irish. Quick little play to the front of the net as, Lar as Larson tried to throw it, bounces off, pinballs around. All David Thurth does is go to the net. Whether you're a peewee or a pro, go to the net and good things happen. 3-3 game, he's a dangerous weapon. Now Michigan trying to get a shot, they score! Merrill rips it right on kill and gets it by Johnson. And with a minute 28 remaining in the period, the Wolverines cash in with a man advantage. And if you, there's another lost faceoff by their big line. You want to make sure. Here's a chance! And Booty Evans buries it! Booney Evans continues his red hot play, and Michigan, 37 seconds into the period, has even the score at 2 2. Tapped in by Tacker. Down the wall as Truba was there. Truba trying to sniff it out. Costello runs. He scores! What a pass and what a finish! Notre Dame's got a 3 2 lead. And he had no chance on this one, but it's again Notre Dame just winning battles, and the whole key to the power play. Your five out work, therefore, they did it. Costello mentioned the water bug a second ago, sets up Brian Rust, and Costello wins the battle, plays pickup sticks, and a perfect pass. One, here's Andrew Cuff. He's got Sinelli to the net. Cuff fires, and the same rebound. They score! Bang, get in the rebound! Andrew Cuff's even the game at 3 3. Oh, much bigger. Now Costello carries in for the Irish. In front, Lee scores! Andrews Lee, call him General Lee. He's given the Irish a 4-3 lead. Oh, he's General Lee, then Rust and Costello are Longstreet Jackson. What a play these guys made as they can't crank the puck up ice. And, you know, Costello told me today, when Anders Lee goes to the net, great things happen. And Costello just waited out the stick of the defender in front of him. Lee was able to get inside the defenseman and go to the front of the net with his stick down. When you get those 220 pounds going to the front of the net, it is hard to pull down. Half it in the corner as DePauli continues the battle. He does it so well. Eric Johnson loves and fires and scores! Helps his older brother out! Two to one, 32 to 16. Here's a steal. Here they come. Garth with his second of the night, and it's six three. The Irish say we'll see your response, and we'll give you that. Oh, here they go. Here's the guy that did it last week. The boys right in. He scores. The boys stayed with it. Second straight game. He scored a shorty. Michigan has scored three shorthanded goals in their last two. It's 6-4 now with 8.09 left. Tripped up, went behind the goal. De Giuseppe back to Triace. He'll pull the trigger. It's blocked by Napoli. AJ trying to keep it camp. Here goes Brian Russ. He will put it into the open net. And Notre Dame has scored seven goals. Last time they did that at home against Michigan was 79-80 when they scored 11. Well, the Irish will take game one in this series against the Michigan Wolverines. She's a final, and Notre Dame wins it 7-4. to four. This is a game Notre Dame desperately needed to win to start to get their jam going back in the right direction. They've now won three out of four. Oh.